Uh, good afternoon, another great story from New York. Story in New York continues with uh, a great, a great uh, man, a friend of Italy, um, George Hirsch. George wears many hats, but uh, above all today, it's uh, the chairman of the board of the New York Road Runners, which is the organization that organized the New York City Marathon. Before going to marathon, let's start with uh, George Hirsch's career. George, you start as an editor, very successful editor, and then you your, um, develop a passion for running, and that passion became uh, almost a full-time job. Please tell us uh, this fantastic story that goes back when? A while ago. The city, right from the beginning, embraced the marathon. People loved the marathon. And even though we had talked the mayor into doing it for the bicentennial, we never talked to him about year two or an annual event. But once the marathon took place, no one looked back. That was it. Until uh, uh, an Italian came here, almost unknown, won the marathon, and basically that became, the New York City Marathon became the marathon of the Italian runner. Last time, in 2019, we had almost 3, 000, more than 3,000 Italians coming here. What happened that day when Orlando Pizzolato won the marathon? Yeah, it was wonderful. Um, when Orlando uh, won the marathon, I think, um, Beginning then, and he won it the next year, and then Johnny Poli won it. So that was like uh, l'età d'oro <laughs> italiano qui a, a New York. Uh, in, in that time, I think uh, any top Italian, if you had asked what, I mean, maybe the Olympics, but other than that, what marathon would you like to win? For sure, it was New York. And yeah. also, the uh, uh, Pizzolato and Poli, Pizzolato twice, Poli winner. There was also an Italian brand which achieved worldwide um, visibility, winning New York City. That brand is uh, LS. LS, uh, yeah. Right, and Gianni Poli. So basically, why New York City is the, the marathon of the Italian? Why the Italians like so much running New York City? Why is the New York City Marathon the most important marathon to Italians? And I, I, think, I think it really runs very deep. I think uh, I, I've never met a New Yorker that doesn't love Italy. I've, I, I never. And I've never met an Italian that doesn't love New York. I mean, this is a, this is a long time love affair that's gone on. And we go there. George, next, oh, this year, 2021, uh, New York, the New York Road Runners, the organization which organized the marathon, will celebrate the 50th anniversary of the marathon. What you are preparing for uh, this event? Since you are the chairman of the board, you can anticipate something or? Yeah, I think, as I said to you already, back in 1976, the motivation for that first marathon was to lift the spirit of the city at a really difficult time. And I think that is the underlying purpose that we see for the marathon this year. We've all lived closed, isolated, alienated. People have suffered. It's been just a terrible year, 600,000 deaths in this country and worldwide millions. And now I think we're beginning to see the light and we're coming out of it. I don't think there's a single event that is going to speak to the feelings of the city like the marathon. We have all kinds of events that are spectacular. I mean, the theater and the opera and the museums and the, uh, you know, the, the, the baseball games and all of that. But you don't get an event 
where there's more than a million people out on the streets, that everyone, the city, gets into it in a way like that. So this year we're going to have 33,000 runners, not the 50,000 that we've had in recent marathons, but 33,000, that's a huge marathon. And to be running through all the five boroughs of the city, I think the, the underlying message is a, is a message of renewal, a, a message of the city is, is coming back. Coming back. Uh, let's talk about the New York Pro Runners, the organization that supervised and organized the marathon, and many more uh, small races, middle distance, half a marathon, the uh, organized youth project. Can you tell us about how this great organization uh, is managed and which is the involvement of the New York Road Runners with the city of New York? Yeah, so the New York Road Runners puts on 50 events a year. I mean, it's basically, there's an event every week, a 5K, a 10K, it could be in Queens, it could be in Staten Island, it could be anywhere in the city. Uh, and, and of course, we're known for the marathon, but I think we take a lot of pride in our school programs. We serve 250,000 kids. And it's kids in underserved neighborhoods, largely, where exercise isn't built into the fabric of the life. Families, often two parents, are working. It's not easy. So we provide that within the school setting. Also, we do programs for seniors you know, walking programs throughout the city. We do a lot, it seems to me, for the, you know, the well-being of, of the citizens. And we're a nonprofit, but we're a, we're a hundred million dollar nonprofit, you know. And um, it, it's, it's work that our team, our staff, uh, they're, they're really, um, you're really proud of the mission. I think Great. it's very important. Uh, great. George, let's go now to another topic of your life, very important, or a chapter, uh, your passion with Italy, I which know. goes back to many, many years, probably even before the marathon. Indeed, a couple of years ago, you were bestowed a Knight of the Italian Republic. Tell us this uh, involvement with Italy, how it happened, and how you continue pursue that increased yeah um, well <laughs> abitavo a napoli quando ero giovane uh, come come to say and um, i fell in love with italy during that time i was a, a naval officer and i was aboard a ship that was uh, based in naples and so I didn't come back to the United States. I was there for three years, uh, and it was incredible. Uh, if I wasn't working, if I didn't have the duty on the ship, or the ship wasn't somewhere in the Mediterranean, I, I lived in Naples. And uh, back then, I, I could live on Via Posillipo, a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful place, as you know. Uh, I had a terrace on, on the sea, and I could do this all on the salary of a, of a naval officer. Uh, so I, I just fell in love with Italy, and that's how it began for me. And I've gone back to Italy many times, and I, I, there's a lot of different experiences. Uh, I know you know you know most of them, but you you wouldn't even believe that. Ages ago, in the 1960s, I was on the staff that started Panorama Magazine. Wonderful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is, uh, gosh, I can't remember, it might have been 1964. Indeed, you also were editor of La Cucina Italiana. Uh, was I was another. the editor of La Cucina Italiana, uh, La Versione in Inglese. Exactly, and uh, 
That was after I retired. <laughs> I, I had been the worldwide publisher of Runner's World for many years. I worked in publishing. And friends of mine who owned uh, La Cucina Italiana in Milan asked me to help them as a consultant, you know, to work with them. And sooner or later, <laughs> I, became the, I became the publisher. Uh, and it, it's a wonderful magazine, uh, you know, now it's owned by Condé Nast. Uh, great, great. And uh, how did you feel the day that the former Council General, uh, General Francesco Genuardi uh, bestowed you Knight of the Italian Republic? I was there, there was a huge crowd. Which was your emotion that it, day? It, it was so nice. Uh, first of all, um, uh, Francesco was a, was a great um, symbol of Italy here in, here in New York. I, I, think, uh, I think half the people in the city knew Francesco Genovardi. You know, he just had this uh, spectacular uh, way about him. era la faccia d'Italia qui a New York, and he was wonderful. So it, it was very incredible for me. He read a... Uh, a proclamation from uh, President Mattarella. I mean, it was very special, and, and my family was there. I have a, a, a daughter-in-law who, who's Italian, so that was particularly nice. And I have a nine-year-old grandson, and he is a citizen of the world. He Wonderful. is nine, and he has three passports, Canadian, Great. Italian, and American. Um, with Francesco, with your and uh, with the help of his, some Italian companies and with the assistance of New York run, Road Runners, we started Italy Day Run. They took two edition. 2020 was suspended. Now we will, will have in one on 2022. Will they continue this great experience? Yeah, we're, was, go uh, we're going to continue with the Italy Run and. Uh, well, you, Vincenzo... Italy Run was in Central Park, attended by 11,000 runners. You, the, uh, you were the, the one who was the driving force behind that event. And then uh, Francesco got involved, and, and then uh, uh, Aldo Uva and Ferrero, and it, all of a sudden it became one of the best races in New York. The plan is to continue. I've spoken to the new Council General, uh, Fabrizio De Michele, uh, and he's committed to it, for sure, and the sponsors are excited about it. So uh, next year at the Festa della Repubblica, I don't know exactly w the Sunday, but the one that's closest to the holiday, we will have the Italy run. That's wonderful, and we hope that many Italians will be here uh, for the marathon and for the third edition of Italy Day Run in Central Park. Thank you, George, and now let's go to run in Central Park. Great, <laughs> good.